You cannot succeed in business if you want to be an eight to five somebody. My name is Renanzuleti Mwabeni. I am the founder and CEO of Intergreek or Kitty Wine Limited and Ndabazi Kitty Wine Limited. Intergreek is an FM company. Ndabazi is an event and a canteen management company. I was born in a village in Ngori, in Giani Lipopo. I grew up in extreme poverty. That forced me to find myself starting a business when I was young. Uh, when I was 10 years old, I was actually working as a domestic worker on Saturday and Sundays and earning 10 rand per month. I used that 10 rand to buy chicken feet and I would cook chicken feet and sell house by house after school. Um, I passed the trick at 16. Then there was no money for me to go to college. Then I worked as an unqualified teacher. I went to the private school where I passed my primary. I worked there. Then I paid for myself the following year at college. I did accounting, business economics, and economics. Then I became a teacher. I was teaching in the Bongo. From then on, I moved to Johannesburg. I was working at a private school. From then on, I moved to a government school. That's where I decided in 2006 to resign and start my own business, which was a franchise then. I went straight into a franchise that was funded by my husband. So while I was in that restaurant, um, that restaurant actually failed. You know, I found myself having a restaurant in a mall, which closes at six o'clock. And at six o'clock, that's when people knock off from their workplaces and come and eat. But in that mall, that was closing at six o'clock. I think that's what might have contributed to the failure of my business. But the most important thing is that I actually moved from being a teacher straight into a franchise. I took the word of the franchise of that, that franchise is doing well. And basically it was not doing well. And one thing that I did not know then that I should have checked is what is called due diligence. I did not know about due diligence, I did not do it. If I did due diligence, then I would not have found myself in that position. Those things caused me to fail. But failing did not really make me fail. Because I believe that failure is when you fall and you don't stand up. So I failed there, but while I was there, I learned marketing, you know, the streetwise way of um, marketing. Because I'll take pamphlets, go to taxi rents, burn onions so that people can see that there's a, actually a restaurant there. I went home, you know, unemployed. Then, that's when I went back to the drone board and decide what am I going to do. But while I was at home, I started looking at um, tenders and I found a tender for um, grass cutting maintenance. I attended that. I found a lady in the meeting there. She was asking so many questions. I could see that this lady knows what she's talking about. Then I asked her to mentor me, of which she agreed. That's way the that's where Interquico actually came about from there. That's when the FM came from. Then while I was running the FM company, I heard about an opportunity where this um, corporate wanted a canteen. I asked them to invite me. They invited me and what they said, this is where we are today. So it started from their failures, um, knocking on doors, not going back to teaching, but I was determined that I would succeed and I succeeded. People think um, owning a business is easy. You can go to work when you want. You can sleep when you feel like sleeping, but that's not true. Being an entrepreneur actually requires 60 hours a week. You know, it requires commitment. You know, 
you cannot succeed in business if you want to be an eight to five somebody. And people have this misconception that business will simply come to you. It doesn't. You need to knock on doors and not giving up until a door is opened for you. And at the same time, uh, you cannot rely on your employees to succeed. You need to be hands on. And another thing that people think it works, but it doesn't. They think that if you have a contract, then that's it. Uh, that's all. You, you, you have a right. No, you know, you need to have systems. You need to have teams. And most importantly, your people. You need to value your people because a contract will do nothing for you if there are no people to assist you in carrying out that contract. I had to learn the hard way when it comes to uh, cash flow management. I thought when you have a contract, you invoice, you just get paid, everything is going to be smooth. But then I realized that it is not the case. I have since learned that you actually need to have um, enough money to carry you for six months, just in case you don't get paid. You know, so working capital, management of working capital is extremely important. Two, lots of sacrifices. You sacrifice sleep. If you're an entrepreneur, you sacrifice spending time with your family, you know, because most of your time is dedicated to making the business succeed. And there's the same time, you sacrifice buying yourself something that you want because the money that you get, you want to grow your business before you can start living the good life. Growing the business is more important. At the same time, you cannot be impatient. You need patience, you need perseverance. Entrepreneurship was in me from the early age of my life. And even now, I'm continuing with that. And also I have a spirit of not giving up. If I was not determined to, to succeed, when I failed in that um, franchise that I had, I would have gone back to teaching. Remember, I'm a qualified teacher and that qualification is still there. I'm still a teacher. So I could easily go back to teaching, but I'm not a giving up type. Once I make up my mind that I'll do something, I'll do it. And I knew that I'll never fail. Knowing what is happening in the business. Doesn't matter how big the business is, but I'm very much hands on. And my practice is that early in the morning, before I start my day, I have spoken to all my managers. So I know the challenges that they face, I know the good things that is happening, and I'm able to step in and assist where I need to assist. So this is a habit that I do every morning. I speak to all my managers. Anything is possible. If you are determined to do something, you can do it. You know, they say God makes a way when there's no way. So even if you have nothing, but if you are determined to start your business, there are so many um, departments or agencies that can fund you. So, but if you have, um, what do you call it? A business concept that is proven, that it will work. Then when you approach funding agencies, they will fund you. So lack of money could not or must not be a stumbling block for you to go and do what you want to do. But also bear in mind guys that starting a business is not easy. Just don't wake up in the morning and die for the concept. It's a winning concept, then it's gonna work and then it works. It needs your dedication, commitment 24 seven to get that business concept to come to life and to succeed. My name is Mrs. Reranzu Leti Ngobeni. I am the founder and CEO of both Intergrico PTY Limited and Mudakazi PTY Limited. You are watching Black Excellence Series brought to you by Benita Daniel. Thank you.